Welcome, in this video I will be testing the RTX 5050 8 gigabyte in some Blender renders and viewport frame rate. And then we will go over the results after that. On the screen is the test bench setup. You can read through those, but it is a 5950X uh, processor setup. Uh, the model I have is the MSI Shadow 2 Fan uh, 5050. But let's go ahead and get right into the render tests. Okay, so we'll start rendering with the classroom scene. This one's super lightweight, doesn't take too long. This one was 23.8 seconds on the 5050. The next scene is the barbershop. This is more representative of a scene you might actually render. This one took two minutes and two seconds. Next one is the heavy scene, the lone monk scene. We'll just let this one play through real quick. And this one took five minutes and 13 seconds. The next scene is the Scanland scene. And this one took a minute and 16 seconds. Okay, now let's run the viewport test. So here you can see the RTX 5050 selected with optics turned on. And we are using the Vulkan backend for this test. And again, this is Blender 4.5, which I have been using for all of these tests lately. So we'll close out of that. And all I'm gonna do is hit play on the animation. And we're gonna watch for the frame rate that kind of stabilizes here. And it looks like we're gonna get 5.4 frames per second on the 50-50. So I'll let it finish up here. The beginning of it always seems to bounce around. I think it's just because it's getting an average maybe, um, but then it does seem to level out at 5.4 frames per second. So that's what we will record. So I'll go um, add that to the data and we will talk about it here in just a second. Okay, and then the final test here will run the Blender Open Data Benchmark. I'll run in version 4.4 to match my other tests. And you can see here we select the RTX 5050. And this one is super sped up. And here are the scores, but we will talk about them in just a minute. Okay, now let's go through all of the results. So we'll start with the classroom scene. I have the RTX 5050 highlighted in green, and I chose to compare this one to the 9060 XT, which is in this pink color. Um, so let's just get right into it with the classroom scene. The 50-50 took just under 24 seconds, and that's actually uh, quite a bit faster than the 9060 XT. So obviously the extra VRAM is nice on the 9060 XT, but they just really are not fast. And then the other one that I kind of want to look at a little bit is the 5060. So for a little bit of a price bump, you do get a pretty good speed boost, and it's the same VRAM. So in this case, you're not having to pick between VRAM and speed. So keep an eye on the 5060 as well. Um, in this test, it was 19 seconds. The 5050 was 23.8 seconds. A uh, fairly significant difference in this test. It's kind of in line with the price difference. But let's go to the barbershop scene. So for this one, the 5050 took 122 seconds. The 9060 XT took 177 seconds. And the 5060, which is right here, was 96 seconds. So let's go to Lone Monk. And here, AMD always does better. NVIDIA relatively to the other tests. So on this one, you can see the 9060 XT does beat the 5050 by about 40 seconds. So it took the 5050 313 seconds on the Lone Monk scene. This generation just, you, you really didn't get a big jump in speed from the 40 series to the 50 series. And I would have hoped to see these eight gig cards at least get a, a speed boost this gen, but they, they really didn't. Uh, let's look at scan lands now, and this one's more normal. The 5050 took 76 seconds in the scan land scene and the 9060 XT about 160 seconds. So, 5050 is about twice as fast in this test. Pretty similar result here. The 5060 is is just a bit faster than the 5050. Pick if you want to spend around 250 or around 300. Otherwise, the the speed up is is 
pretty reasonable for the price difference. Um, so that's it for the actual render speed tests. One note, I did put a copy of this spreadsheet on my Patreon page. It's free, and I have the link in a community post. So go check that out if you want to actually download this Excel sheet. You can manipulate it, use the data however you want, make, make uh, visual charts, whatever you want to do. It's there for you if you want it. If you guys want the link shared somewhere else, I can do that as well. Um, if you don't have access to Patreon or whatever, but I will keep updated versions of this sheet on there as well. So every few GPU tests, I'll, I'll put new versions on there. Um, so just go grab that if you'd, if you'd like to. Uh, the next result here is the viewport frame rate test. And again, the 50-50 is in green. And I was using Blender 4.5 with the Vulkan backend. And we got 5.4 frames per second running my Minotaur animation scene on the 50-50. And uh, here AMD really, really looks a lot better in viewport testing. And I probably need to add some extra scenes that are a little bit heavier and lighter, but uh, you can see the 9060 XT beats the 5050 in this test by almost 50%. It's 50% faster than the 5050, which is which is a nice speed boost. Um, so that one gets over seven frames per second, and the 5050 only got 5.4. Definitely makes AMD more viable. Most of your time will be spent in the viewport and not in rendering anyway. So this is fairly important information. And then finally, I did run the Open Data Benchmark, and here you can see the 9060 XT is in dead last. And the 5050 even basically ties the Radeon AI Pro R9700. And they're both right around 3,000 points. The 5050 is slightly slower, but for the price difference, you definitely don't get any speed there. Here, the 5060 kind of has the same speed boost as in the actual render scenes. So that seems to make sense. But uh, that's it for the data results. If you want to see something different, or if you have good scenes that would really test this stuff in a different way, let me know what they are. And obviously I'll add different softwares to test as time goes on. I just have to be able to buy them and then I have to learn them. So if you if you have a good scene to test for um, architecture viz or something like that, if you could share a file, that would help me a lot because I don't have to completely build a test scene or a new software that way. Um, if you have ideas for that, reach out to me. I, I'd like to implement them. I just don't have the time to, to learn all these softwares. So, so that's maybe one way we can go with it from here on. Otherwise, that is it for this one. I will have the Intel Arc Pro B50 next. I have it in hand. Should be able to get it out here in the next few days. And uh, we'll see if those are a really good deal in that value spot. And they have a lot of VRAM, and we're finally seeing cheap cards with a lot of VRAM. So that's it for this one. Thanks for being here, and I will see you soon.